Hello, Michael Stack here with AMAX. So it's the week of Thanksgiving. It's really a great holiday. It's one that I very much enjoy. It's a nice time to take a break from our daily busy lives and spend some quality time with our friends and our family. It also really marks the official start of the Christmas holiday season. My wife and I have four young kids, so it's a really a very fun and exciting time in our household. But this year, as you're really going for that second helping of mashed potatoes, I want you to think about the individual that gets the least amount of appreciation and the least amount of thanks throughout the year. And that's your work comp adjuster. I want to talk about the role of the adjuster because the more that you can understand what they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, the more you can appreciate it and work with them as a valuable part of your team in your work comp management program. So let's first talk about the tasks. So in general, there's going to be about 15 to 20 tasks that an adjuster is going to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis as part of their job description. I want to go over some of the highlights. The first is a three-point contact. So within 24 hours of the injury, they're going to be contacting the employee, they're going to be contacting the supervisor, and contacting the medical providers so they can get as much information about that claim as possible. They're going to be establishing the reserves, and they're also going to be reviewing compensability of whether that's a valid claim or not. They're going to be auditing and paying the bills from the various providers, the medical providers, any additional expenses, any vendors that they're working with, making sure that those are paid, reviewed, and paid in a timely basis. Next thing is they're going to be documenting the claim file. Anything that occurs, they're going to want to make sure that's recorded in the file so that all the parties can understand what's happening. And finally, and probably most importantly, is they're going to be communicating with all the relevant stakeholders to make sure all parties are involved to continue that claim moving forward. And like I said, there's a lot more tasks that are involved in an adjuster's day. But if you look at any one of these six that are on the board here, if one of these balls is dropped, then that claim and the management of that claim is going to be effective. So very high important items. And if you're managing 150 to 200 claims at one time, putting priority on every one of those and managing them properly is a very difficult thing to do. Next piece in, regard, in addition to tasks is they really coordinate and they resolve conflicts. So if we think about all the parties that are involved in the claim, there's a number of them. There's the employee, there's the employer, there's medical providers, there's legal, and there's a host of vendors that may or may not be working on the case. Every single claim, every single claim has conflict. It's going to be either between the employee and employer, maybe it's the employer and the medical provider, maybe it's the plaintiff attorney and the defense attorney, maybe there's an issue with one of the vendors that are working on the case. But every single claim is going to have some form of conflict. It's just the nature of the beast. So that adjuster needs to really be working to coordinate all of these different stakeholders that are involved in this claim and resolve that conflict in order to keep that claim moving forward. Certainly not an easy task, but a very important part of effective claims management is working with all those providers and making sure that that conflict is resolved on a timely basis. Okay, so last piece here is workload. And this piece is often only spoken about and evaluated in regards to a hard number, how many claims that adjuster is handling at any one given time. But I want to encourage you to evaluate workload not so much on a hard number, but more based on performance. So that workload number can be such a variable based on a whole host of factors. And certainly the experience of the adjuster and the jurisdiction that that adjuster is in as being two main components. An adjuster with 20 to 30 years experience is certainly going to be able to handle a larger workload and more complicated cases than a brand new adjuster. And the only way to really evaluate what the appropriate workload is for that individual adjuster is to evaluate them based on performance. How well are they completing those tasks that we talked about earlier? Are they paying bills timely? Are they completing their three-point contact? Are they doing a thorough investigation to determine compensability? Are they hitting those claims management best practices? And if they are, it's possible to increase that workload. But in a caution, on overloading an adjuster is one of the easiest ways to ensure that you're going to be paying too much for your work comp claims. So many negative things can happen. Those tasks really start to slip. The bills don't get paid timely. The communication starts to slip. People start to get frustrated, start to get angry. And here's the second thing that happens. With an overloaded adjuster as a defense mechanism, they're going to purposely keep your claim open longer to ensure that they're not being assigned new claims. 
It's simply a defense mechanism to make sure that they can catch up with the work that they have going on. So ensuring that your adjuster is not overloaded is a way to ensure that they're going to be continuing to hit those claims management best practices. Final tip here in regards to working with your adjuster is to consider working with either a dedicated or a designated adjuster so that you have the same individual or group of individuals that are handling all of your claims. You can get to know them, they can get to know you, and you can really work with them as a valuable part of your team. So remember, in workers' comp, your success is based on your integrity and your thankfulness. Happy Thanksgiving. Be great.